Hi. Right, I've done the, uh, a watercolour this morning and I'm just going to do an abstract, I'll try to do an abstract. I won't take too long over it, I hope. Uh, right, on, on my palette we've got uh, uh, black, viridian, lemon yellow, cabin red, ultramarine. That's about it really. I want to do this to match the other one I did called Spatial. Spatial, uh, which was a black and blue background with the white cloudy looking thing on it. I want to do one to match that, so I'm going to spray with water. I've, I've heavily uh, gessoed this with a sort of homemade gesso from some filler, some household filler, and some PVA glue. I'll just give this a bit of a lubrication. Okay, because it's going to take a lot of paint otherwise. Right, so I'm going to mix a bit of black and a bit of blue, a bit of water as well. So I'm going to mix the... Uh, I'm not going to mix them too, too, too closely together. I'm going to mix a bit of red in with it as well. So I want the red and the dark and the black to be some sort of complement to the uh, green when I put it on. So I'm just getting a nice coat of colour on, on this. Let's see if I can get away with that using the white with this one. I've been looking at loads of YouTube stuff on uh, abstracting. I, I, I first started doing abstracts and Oh, in the 1990s, late 1990s, and I did, did okay with some of them. It was quite encouraging. And I sold some at uh, what was then uh, sort of the Sunshine Gallery in Hayes Galleria, which is London Bridge. I might see so some more academy. I've got loads of academy, but I've got another few tubes of it. Right, more, more cadmium red. I'll have to open another one. There's not much left in this one. Oh, that should be enough. It's squirting out air now. Okay, so... I'm not, I'm not even thinking about um, a subject matter. These abstracts are purely abstract. I don't do this in private, I, I share it all with you. Okay, let's uh, get some blue in there, let's have some more blue. Oh, this is quite dark, let's get the ultramarine. Mm -hmm. So because it's so rough with the gesso, I call it gesso, I guess so, um, but it's a, it's a DIY gesso. Lovely, just plop it on. Yeah, I was saying, I, I was watching a lot of um, abstract videos on YouTube. Much of it is on BBC. And it's on the BBC iPlayer, but it's not on YouTube. Um, and BBC, we complain bitterly about the BBC and its politics and its, and its political correctness and so on which seems to be the bane of the Western world, political correctness. And more extreme states, you're, you're told exactly what to, to believe. That's what they try here. And, uh, but, and we pay a lot for it. We pay over £145 a year for it. Let's just go and get another way. Right, cadmium red. Take the top off, just to, to pierce. I'll take the little cap in on it. These have gone up to two pounds now. Terrible price for 200 millilitres of lovely colour. Very good value. Wilkinson's. You can get them in other stores. It's not exclusively to a Wilkinson's, the cheap colours. You have, you have to look out for them. I need a new black because that then it's not going to last me much longer. 
Oh, I just stick it all in there. Don't want to leave too much of this background. But uh, as I say, on, on the uh, BBC iPlayer, there are lots of documentaries on uh, abstraction, abstract artists like uh, Pollock and my favourite Hodgkin. Oh, that's showing up nicely. I'm going to change cleaning my brush. Oops. Pass more. Rothko. Oh, it's lovely stuff, but my favourite is. Uh, it's Hodgkin. Don't know why. I don't think he knows. He died last week, which was a great loss. Acrylics tend to dry duller than you put them on. For some reason, let's put some more nice black in there. Mix it with a bit of red. Oh, I'm just enjoying the process of painting and just having fun. I, the uh, my landscapes, my water, my stream that I did this morning, they're, they're sort of abstract because they, they don't exist. I wasn't copying it from anything. I make them up. So to that extent, they are abstracts. Right now, see where the fun begins. I'll find another brush. I've got another two here. Uh, make sure they're all nice and clean. Keep, keep your brushes scrupulously clean. It sounds a bit, a bit trite for advice, but if you neglect your acrylic paint on the brushes, you'll lose your brush. So be warned. Okay, now let's get some Viridian and some, some lovely lemon yellow. It's so obvious, isn't it? But I might even put some orange. Ooh. I've got to be careful, that's going to go over there, isn't it? Right. If I mix a bit of water with it, I think it's making them nice and sloppy. Clean jeans on here, my wife would call me if, if I were in another pair. Alright, well, that'll do. Let's make that a bit orangey now. Red, I think, up in the top right. I'll clean this, but well, I'll put it in so right. Red, good old red. Now, who knows why I did that? Eh? So, so we just scumble over the high spots. Some yellow on that, I think. Some more yellow, and oh, no, I'm going to use my rigger when I locate it. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> ah, 
it's got in the uh, the red and, and the green. So I have to clean that off. Always have plenty of toweling when you do this. Mm. Oh, there's a bit of water in there. Like a little bit. Sloppy. So looking okay now. Let's see if I can mix up a bit of, bit of orange, just go with that red, some of that red. Yes, Howard Hodgkin, he painted about his, his emotional experiences which were really abstract but if you haven't seen his lovely work go and have a go and have a, have a look on <coughs> online on, you know, on YouTube Hi, well, it's an abstract, who knows what it means. Nothing, nothing profound anyway, that's for sure. Right, I'm going to put it in a frame, I'll have a frame. I've taken another one out of it, of the frame that is. <clears throat> and we'll, we'll see what we've made of this. Well, there we are, we've got another abstract. Uh, Churning them out. That's quite bright and cheerful, isn't it? I don't know what sort of title we'll give it, but if I can show it to you, sort of, let's move the camera around here, a raking sort of light, we're close up in there, on it, you'll be able to see the, the texture of it. There's a lot of texture on there. Oh. It, it makes it much more of an interesting surface to paint on. Let's come around to the front now and have a look at it. I enjoyed that. I did. No idea what that's supposed to be. Let's move the camera back. No idea what I was doing. No thought, nothing intellectual about it. It's just the joy of paint. It's the joy of painting. Lovely, lovely primary colours. We've got the blue, the red and the yellow and, and some secondary colours with the greens and the oranges. But the blue, you can see, the, I can see the blues here, a bit of blue there, but on essentially a black and red background. But <coughs> somebody will like that because it, it, the, 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 the scenes, the, the, the rivers and all, all the stuff I, I paint, everybody does that, that's where they start. And most of us don't pros progress any further into, into abstraction really, it's been around a long time. But there was a time when there was a battle about, oh, this could be done by a child or a chimpanzee, or could, my, my pet dog could do better. But that battle has been largely one really, uh, and, and this sort of art is, has, has a place in decorating one's house, not on that scale. I, I was asked this morning if uh, they would like to see me paint on a large canvas. Well, I'd like to paint on a large canvas, but I haven't really got the space in my studio here for large canvases. 
and large canvases take up a lot of room and a dozen of those would fill my space and I've got enough clutter with thousands of paintings up here surrounded by them. So I paint, that's mainly why I paint on this size, it's a convenient demonstrating size. size. And this is a demonstration after all, it's not um, a great work of art, but it is, it is what it is. A, a painting done to amuse my friends on, on YouTube and Facebook and I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching and listening to my clap chat. Bye for now.